Welcome back, wax addicts. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name's April and I am a wax holio of wax melt, you guys. I have a serious problem, but I do have a very exciting haul to share with you guys today. I have a lot of wax and a couple warmers now. One of these warmers, I am telling you, is the most beautiful warmer I have purchased. And it's so beautiful, in fact, that I completely redid my entire bathroom decor for a freaking stinking warmer. Yes, I don't know. Maybe it's a little crazy, but you guys, when you see it, you're gonna understand. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on in. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the wax first. I have a lot of spring summer scents in here. I just really wanted to stock up uh, for the spring summer and there were a lot of really good things in the catalog. And I'm gonna actually do the video, a video of, um, my warmers in their beautiful glory because they're just too beautiful to not show displayed. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so I do have lots of multiples of different bars. I'm gonna just pull from the top and see what we come up with. Um, it looks like I picked up four bars of Cake Me to Paradise, which is a new to the catalog scent for the spring summer. And the scent notes are Sweet Cake, Juicy Orange, and Island Rum. And it is a beautiful pink colored wax. And it looks like there's a little bit falling off right there. I'm gonna set that aside. But yes, I really, really enjoyed the scent. I have warmed it already. And to me, it's like a, almost like a vanilla pound cake kind of a scent, but there is a heavy influence of citrus and fruitiness. Um, definitely the orange is present. Ooh, almost ate it. <laughs> um, the Island Rum, I, I think it's there, but it's not overpowering. Like you don't get a boozy note. There's just something a little special, a little extra in the scent. I love this one. It was a fairly decent performer. Um, again, I got that bakery richness from the vanilla pound cake, but also a heavy um, orange citrus note, which I love. This was great. Um, four bars, and at the end of this season, this one will be going into my Sunsea Club. All right, let's see what is next. Okay. This one is Lemon and Lime Fizz, and I did go ahead and pick up four bars. And I'm dropping everything because you know the old saying, um, it's not a Scentsy video unless you drop something. So again, a beautiful orange colored wax. And the scent notes are vanilla sugar, fizzing lemon, and lime. Now this was from the Easter 2024 collection. I want to say this is still available, but I'm not 100% sure, but I do think it is. And yes, to me, this is almost like an elevated lemon sorbet. If you've smelled that one in the catalog, You'll know what I'm talking about. It's almost like an Italian ice um, soda where it's fizzy, lemony, um, a little cold, like almost frozen, like a frozen lemon icy. Yes. And then like a little extra like vanilla sugar in it. I love this one. Um, when I first warmed it, I, I wasn't sure if I liked this one or lemon sorbet better, but I've since warmed another bar of this one. And I feel like they're super similar, but this one might be just a teensy bit stronger. So really, really good. Um, that one will be going into my club. Actually, it is in my club, <laughs> um, but I'm also gonna club lemon sorbet too, because I, I don't wanna choose between those two. They're really, really good. Okay, next up is Sun Castles. And I wanna say I picked up four bars of Sun Castles. Yes, I did. So this one is also new to the spring summer catalog. And this one, I had a feeling I was gonna really enjoy it when I saw the scent notes and I did. It, it's so good, oh, it's so good. So scent notes are sunny coconut, tropical pistachio, and sweet almond. And I honestly get all of those scent notes. Um, the coconut, it's a creamy scent, a creamy coconut. Mm, so good. Um, and then the tropical pistachio and sweet almond. I'm getting a very nutty pistachio. I don't know what tropical pistachio is, but I'd say absolutely there's a pistachio note in here. And then the sweet almond does not lean cherry at all. Just like a real authentic sweet almond. This is fabulous. I feel like it's a really good performer in my house. I think I've warmed two bars already. Um, 
This is a keeper for me, the perfect spring summer scent, especially when it's hot outside. So that one will be going into my club at the end of the season. Okay, next up is one that I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about um, when I saw the scent notes, and that is Sippin' Poolside. I picked up four bars. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue, baby blue colored wax. So the scent notes are fresh pear, sparkling citrus, and aquatic accord. And Sensei puts this one in the fruity category and I can already smell it when I opened it up. Oh, yes. So I was a little bit worried when I read the scent notes um, about that aquatic accord because I'm not always the biggest fan of those oceanic scents, but this one is done so beautifully. The, the fresh pear and the sparkling citrus just add this element of sweetness and airiness to the scent. I, I absolutely love this one on cold. It was probably the biggest uh, shocker during my, um, my warm review of the 10 new scents. This one, I love it. So this one will be going into my Scentsy Club at the end of the season. And let me tell you what, my Scentsy Club is getting so big, you guys, but I can't help it because I'm a wax hoe <laughs> and I am here for it. Um, okay, next up is Bonfire Beach, and I'm dropping everything. Picked up two bars of Bonfire Beach. This one's been in the catalog for um, quite a while. So, Scentsy says, toasted marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, salty sea air, and ocean spray. And Scentsy puts this one in the woods category. And oh my gosh, I love this one so much. So this is like you're at the beach, at night and you're sitting around a campfire, a bonfire is what we call it here. And you're toasting marshmallows and there's that sea air that's just gently, um, gentle breeze going through the air and all of those scents are just combining the little tiny flint of the bonfire. I, I love this one. Oh my gosh, this one brings back so many memories for me um, when I was in college and high school. So I love this one. This one goes into my club at the end of every season because at some point, Sensi's gonna take this away and I'd be devastated. So fabulous scent if you like this kind of sweet, gentle, airy, oh, heavenly scents, so good. Okay, this one I only picked up a single just because I've smelled it before, but it's been a long time and my scent preferences have kind of changed and that is whipped vanilla lavender. Scent notes are sweet coconut milk, whipped vanilla, and English lavender. And this was a former Mother's Day collection, but since he put this one into the spring summer catalog, and I actually really, really like this one. So when, the, when this one was available in the Mother's Day collection, I was not a fan of lavender scents because I didn't meet my friend Summer Michelle yet. <laughs> and let me tell you something, she introduced me to lavender, sweet, like bakery um, lavender, and I'm a fan. I really like this one. The lavender doesn't come across too herbally. It's more like a sweet lavender. And then that um, whipped vanilla is just, again, adding a little bakery element, a little sweetness to the scent and creaminess. It is beautiful, I love it. Um, this is good on its own, and I think I'm gonna actually mix it with some bakery scents as well, maybe some crumb top or happy birthday. I just think that will be a fabulous combo. And I'm probably gonna put this one, shockingly, into my Scentsy Club at the end of the season just because I, I love um, those sweet lavender scents now. All right, next up is strawberry lemon cake. Now this is one that we are gonna to have to discuss a little bit. Picked up three bars and the scent notes are fresh strawberries, lemon zest, and vanilla buttercream. It was a former scent of the, mar uh, scent of the month in March of 2023. Now, oh, I love this one on cold. Like I freaking love this one on cold so much. It's sweet. It's strawberry, pound cake, whipped cream goodness. And it smells fairly strong, um, like a medium on cold. Now, I picked these up and when I first started warming them during the March sun of the month, so it's been like a year ago, um, it was so light. I could barely smell it. Even though I love the scent, it smelled beautiful. It was just super duper light. 
So I had some bars from my uh, Sunday of the Month collection last year, and I went and I warmed them, and it had been almost a year, right? They were great. They smelled stronger. I got good scent throw, and I was jazzed because, again, I love the scent. So I feel like for me, this is going to be a scent where I might have to let them sit and cure a little bit to kind of get the scent performance that I want. Although I might warm one of the, these ones because the scent of the month bars maybe were just super freshly poured. I had no idea when these ones were poured, but that's what I'll do. I'll probably warm one, and if I'm not getting the scent throw and strength that I want, I'll go ahead and save it and warm it for later. Um, and I'm fine with that because I have so much wax, but this scent is great once you can get it to perform for you. Just let it kind of sit and cure a little bit. Um, fabulous, and that one will be going into my Scentsy Club at the end of the season. Okay, this one is Tangerine Creamsicle, and I did go ahead and pick up two bars. So the scent notes are Icy Tangerine Mango Vanilla Cream Swirl, and I want to say this one was new to the catalog when I first joined Scentsy. So I think that was March of 2021 and it's been in the catalog, uh, catalog since. And I actually really, really like this scent, you guys. It is like an icy, sweet and tangy tangerine. And then you have that hit of the creaminess and sweetness from like that vanilla milk or vanilla ice cream swirl. Oh, it's so good. I love this one. Um, to me, this is like a sophisticated, elevated um, orange creamsicle kind of a scent, like those little popsicles where it's like the vanilla ice cream and it's the popsicle part of the um, orange icicle or orange popsicle part on top of the ice cream. I'll get that out somehow. <laughs> um, that's what this reminds me of and I love it. Um, it's not the best performer, at least it hasn't been in my in my house I'd say it's almost like a light plus to a medium light, but scent appeal is so high for me that I wanted two more bars. And if I get decent performance this time, um, I'm going to club it at the end of the season just because scent appeal is so, so high for me. Okay, this is one that I freaking love. And that is um, Cocoa Lime. So the set notes are coconut milk, creamy vanilla, and fresh lime. And this is in the citrus category. Oh, it's so good. It is definitely a fresh, zesty, tangy lime. But then you get that creaminess of the sweet coconut milk. And then the creamy vanilla just adds like a little sweetness to the scent. It is so good. I love this one on its own. I love it even better as a mixer. There are so many ways you could go with this. You can make this like into a bakery scent, add some crumb top, which Christine from Christine Scent Scene um, introduced me to, and I freaking love that. Um, I think Martha said she was actually warming that blend today um, from Martha's Fragrance Corner. Um, you could do that. You could like take it down the bakery route, or you could also make it almost like a cherry lime fizzy pop kind of a scent. Add like a, a cherry um wild black cherry which is what, what I do and it's like it's almost like a cherry limeade from Sonic so 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 good love that one it goes into my club at the end of every season because again I do not trust Sunsy and I'd be upset if that one didn't come back okay let's see this one this one is pina colada cha-cha such a good scent set notes are island coconut pineapple white rum and vanilla bean I picked up two bars and this is a staple summer scent for me it just is it's so good Oh, this is the perfect pineapple coconut scent. I get equal parts of both. Nothing takes over the scent. And then that island rum just, or white rum, just kind of gives this, I don't know, just a sophistication. It's so good. It's like you're at the beach drinking a pina colada. I love it. Delicious. Goes into my club at the end of every season just because Scentsy is really finicky, I feel like, with a lot of their pineapple scents. And they're kind of coming out with a lot of them. And I, I have a feeling like they're kind of testing the water. So this one's going to go into my club just in case they decide to replace it with um, with Sun Castles. I don't know. I mean, they're different scents in my opinion, but I could see where Scentsy would ax one of them. All right, next up is one that I love, but I'm not sure if a lot of people do. <laughs> and that is Camu Camu. I picked up two bars. Scent notes are Mandarin, Camu Camu, and Passion Fruit. 
Oh my gosh. And this is a banger performer, you guys. This is just a tropical, sweet, fruity scent. Definitely fruity. Oh my gosh, but I love it. I definitely get the passion fruit in here. Oh, it's so good. I love this one. Um, goes into my club at the end of every season now, um, now because again, I have a feeling like Cincy is going to pull the plug on that at some point and I will be upset. <laughs> All right. Next up is Havana Cabana. And honestly, part of me kind of thought this one might not come back this year. Picked up two bars and the scent notes are pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. And since he puts this one in the citrus um, family, but I, I could argue that it's a fruity scent as well. Mm, it's really good. And I really do get like the pineapples and the bananas and the oranges. Not really sure if I get any berries. Oh man, the bottom is so good. So I love this scent. It's so good on scent appeal. Um, I'm probably gonna end up put, putting this one in my Sensei Club at the end of the season, just again, because I feel like how many scents kind of like this is Sensei gonna keep in the catalog? I just, I don't know. Um, this isn't like a banger performer, but it does okay, it holds its own. But scent appeal is just so high for me that I, I want this one in my club, so I love that one, and I'd be quite upset without it. All right, next is Evening Sky. This is new to the catalog this year, and the scent notes are Soft Bergamot, Madagascar Vanilla, and Midnight Lily. And since he puts this one in the floral category, and man, oh gosh, it is so pretty. So I am not a big floral lover, although I do like Luna, but I like those gentler, sweeter floral scents, nothing that's like super heady or old lady smelling. This one is just amazing. I think what's really helping this scent out is that Madagascar vanilla. It's just giving it a creaminess, a smoothness um, of that vanilla, and I really do pick up the vanilla a lot in this. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Um, it was a good performer when I warmed it, and she's going to go into my Scentsy Club at the end of this season just because it is so beautiful. Um, and, and I would just love to melt that one in my bedroom year-round. It's, it's so good. Okay, next up is Sugared Strawberry. So the set notes are strawberries, juicy currants, and sun-kissed lemons. And I did go ahead and pick up two bars. Now, this scent is okay on its own. It's a decent strawberry. It's not the best strawberry, but this is really, really good when you mix it with lemon sorbet. Like, really, really good. So I bought these to be used as mixers, and there's a possibility that this one might go into my club at the end of the season just for its mixing potential. I've I've played around with um, with the fruity versions, like lemonade kind of type scents with this. I want to kind of venture into the realm of bakery scents with this, so I think I'm going to do that um, over the next few months and kind of test it out. But but it's good, really good when it's mixed with other scents. Okay, next up is watermelon tangerine, and you know I am a watermelon ho. Um, this is actually a best seller for Thunsey. So the set notes are sweet watermelon, juicy tangerine, and dewy greens, and this is in the fruity category. And yeah, I do pick up all of those scent notes. Definitely get the watermelon. And it's a sweet watermel watermelon. The dewy greens are definitely present. And I almost feel like it's adding a little bit of an element to kind of tone down the artificial sweetness that sometimes watermelon scents can have on their own. It just kind of helps tone it down and give it a more realistic kind of a scent. And then the Juicy Tangerine, absolutely just that little hint and um, pizzazz of the citrus, really good. I like this one. Not sure if I'm gonna club it. I'm gonna have to warm it again just because I haven't really warmed this one a lot. I've just kind of, it's flown under my radar for so long, but no more. That one is, is going to be warmed and I will see what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, this one, this one right here. This is very sweet. Now, I have warmed this one already. I've warmed all of the new scents. And when I smelled this one on cold, it was just kind of okay. I was like, eh, it's okay. Well, when I warmed it though, oh my gosh, it's like magic happened in my warmers. And I freaking loved it. Oh, it's so good. 
So the scent notes are fresh blueberries, red strawberries, and sweet candy glaze. Now I definitely get that sweet candy glaze. That's like the strongest scent in here. The blueberries and the strawberries, I mean, they just mesh together really well. Um, I don't know if I could say, oh, that's a blueberry or, oh, that's a strawberry, but definitely a sweet, fruity, candied glaze scent is what this is. And I love it. Um, again, it was just okay um, on cold when I sniffed it, but man, when I warmed it, it just, it just bloomed and came to life. Guys, I got so many wax bars. Okay, this one is a blue agave and a melon. So this is a former summer collection scent of, I believe, 2021, and it was um, brought back into the catalog this year and last year. So kudos to Scentsy because guess what? I freaking love this scent. Scent notes are blue agave, honeydew melon, and kiwi, and it's in the fruity category. And this scent is, is magic. It's heaven. I love the scent so much. Man, it is so unique. Um, I, I've kind of discovered that I really like scents that have kiwi in it. I think I am a big kiwi fan. I love it to eat it, um, the fruit itself, but man, I really love to smell it in wax as well. Blue agave and honeydew melon. It's like, it's a fresh, fruity, clean scent, but not laundry. It's just fresh and beautiful and delicious. Ugh calming, relaxing. I love it. Um, it's a banger performer for me in my house and it's going to go into my Sunsy club at the end of the season, actually in my bi-monthly club, just because I can warm it year round because I love those fresh, fruity, clean kind of scents. All right. This one I wanted to give another try and that is apricot vanilla. Picked up two bars. Scent notes are heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream. I believe this is like Heidi Orville's favorite scent. So it's been in the catalog for quite a while. I have to say, this is beautiful. This, this is absolutely beautiful. Mm. So peach scents are kind of hit and miss for me. Um, the peach in here though, it's, it's a beautiful peach. It's almost like you're getting the entire peach. You're getting the juicy flesh. You're getting that skin, you're getting the juice from it, all of it combined, just lends itself to a really good, fresh, juicy, sweet, dripping down your face peach. Mm. And then that apricot, I think that's adding a little extra sweetness because apricots are pretty sweet. Um, I used to have an apricot tree. Um, and then the vanilla ice cream, again, adding creaminess to the scent, adding more sweetness. It's so good. Um, I have warmed it before, but it's been a long time. It was pretty light from what I can recall, but I wanted to give it another try and just see how it does. Because again, I love the way it smells. So hopefully I can get some performance out of it. Okay, and then lemon sorbet. Kind of touched on this one a little bit. This is in the citrus uh, family and it's fresh cut lemons, grapefruit zest, and sugar cane. Mm, yeah, it's so good. It's just like an Italian lemon icy. Oh man, I wanted to kind of do a side by side with lemon lime fizz. Oh God, they're both so good. Mm, man. Yeah, I, you know, I can't pick between the two on which one I like, so they're both gonna go in my Sunset Club at the end of the season. Um, this is great on its own. Again, it's also great as a mixer. Highly recommend trying it with like sugared strawberry. And this makes a really, really good strawberry lemonade soda. I also think this um, would be really good with cocoa and lime, almost like a, like a limeade kind of a scent, so good. Um, you could even probably do like a strawberry limeade. You know, I mean, why not? The world is your oyster. Do what you want with it. All right, so that's it for the wax. And now um, one more thing, and then we're gonna go to my warmers because I'm actually gonna show you the warmers in their full glory, set up and displayed because they're stunning and breathtaking. But real quickly, I picked up some of these. These are little sunset spatulas. Kind of a bummer that I had to buy them in a pack of 25, but I have been giving some of these away. Um, but they're really great for cleaning out your wax. Just kind of use this little hook right here 
and you just kind of flick out the Scentsy Wax and it comes out like a charm. The little spatula, I don't really think I need it because again, this kind of just hooks in and just pops right out. Um, really, really good. So if you need some, maybe ask your consultant because I think you can only buy them as a consultant, um, which I think they should put them in the catalog for everybody to get. Um, but okay, so let's go look at my beautiful brand new warmers. So this right here is the Sea Star Warmer. It's new to the catalog this year, and you guys, it is a stunning beauty. And this is what completely changed the decor in my master bathroom, just because it is so beautiful. First of all, look at this Sea Star, you guys. It is so beautiful. I love it. Um, this is a ceramic 25 watt bulb warmer. I get great performance from it. It is just absolutely gorgeous. The details on here, it's just so pretty. And we have a little um, aloe vera plant down. <laughs> but yeah, that's. I just kind of wanted to display this one so beautifully. I got these little sea stars at Hobby Lobby and this cute little turtle. Um, I don't know what they call these things, but it's like it, you just wrap it around the warmers and it's, it makes a really cute, uh, cute design. But I, I got that. I got these both for really, really cheap at um, Hobby Lobby. And then I just, these are from another warmer <laughs> from Scentsy. And I just like took um, took them out of the, the little holder for the warmer. And I'm displaying them just like that. Just because this warmer is so stunning. It's so beautiful. And I absolutely love it. And this right here is the Lemon Grove Warmer. Now it is a nine watt element warmer, which kind of bummed me out just a little bit because I typically like at least 12 watts, but you guys, it is so stinking cute that I just didn't care. It's so adorable and I love pairing it with some little fresh limes. And I actually think I have some lemons from my lemon tree that I should probably put there instead. But again, it's just so pretty, so fresh, perfect in my kitchen. Have a little plant here going around it. But yes, I, I love this one, even though it's only nine watts. It's so cute. Um, I think it's just a timeless design and it's not very big, which I kind of appreciate. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I love the Scentsy Bars that I picked up. I um, can't wait to try them out and kind of test a few blends. And then my warmers, I freaking love my warmers, especially that Sea Star. I just think it's stunning. So stunning that I had to change the whole decor in my master bathroom. So thank you so much and leave a comment below which warmer from the new spring summer catalog do you think you would like the best? Um, for me, it was the Sea Star hands down um, with a close second um, with the Lemon Grove warmer. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.